For our safety minute today, we have Carrie Gaines showing us a full body harness with back and dorsal rated connections. Starting at the top, you'll see we have a helmet with a chin strap. This chin strap will prevent it from falling off if it gets bumped or if we're leaning over and working. On top of this hard hat is a light for when it gets dark inside the tower. Below that, you will see Carrie has on safety glasses. Some hard hats are equipped with a face shield in lieu of safety glasses. Down we have what we call a lat safe. It is our fall prevention system. Uh, this system will not allow for a fall of more than two feet and can be connected at the chest like it is now or at the dorsal. This system will connect to our 3 8 inch climbing cable. Uh, that extends the length of the tower. We have a steel rung ladder that goes from top to bottom also. Our towers are about 265 foot tall. And that climbing cable is what this connects right onto. It'll let us travel up and down. When it goes down, if there's a jerk, it will stop and it'll catch us. Moving on to the sides, we have what we call a Y lanyard. Um, this is our fall arrest system. And this must be connected to the back dorsal like it is. Uh, this will prevent further injury during the fall. The fall arrest system, we cannot be subjected to more than a six foot fall distance with an additional three foot to safely come to a stop. Moving on down, we have what we call a positioning lanyard. This lanyard is not a fall arrest or prevention. We use it for positioning ourselves when we are working off the ladder or behind it. It goes from one hip, we wrap it through the ladder, and then it goes to our other hip, and it holds us where we need to be. We have to use either our Y lanyard or the LAD safe with this positioning lanyard. It cannot be used just alone. On Carrie's side, she also has a small cinch pouch. Um, you can see that it will cinch shut very tight and will not open without pressing the buttons. Inside we use it to carry any loose items that we can't tie off such as cell phones, paint pens, rags, water. Along that side we have a radio. We have a nice little radio harness for ours. Um, they work really well. They attach right to our harness with our microphone going up to it for perfect use. Looking at Carrie's hands, we do see that she is wearing gloves. These are required to work in the tower. We can see that Carrie's wearing closed-toed boots. These are required to climb. Carrie's are steel toe, which is recommended. Our climbing gear is in accordance with current ANSI and OSHA standards.